that is. Um, I was in Portugal for almost a year during lockdown. Mm -hmm. So I started like, I tried to get an agent during lockdown. I sent a lot of emails. I tried to get meetings. It wasn't easy. And months and months and months later, um, I get a call from a production house I, saying, are you in Portugal? I was like, yeah. And they were like, um, okay, can you come over tomorrow to shoot something for a soap opera? But soap operas there are not long running. They're kind of like TV series, they're kind of short. Oh really? So then I was like, sure. And like, yeah, because we have this actress, she's a very famous actress in Portugal. She's in her 60s mm -hmm. and she got COVID and I don't think they wanted to wait for her. So they were like, would you just come and take her part? And I was like, great. And I thought it was a king. Wait, so she's in her 60s. How do you I know. Don't get me started. This is the I story mean, of my life. Stop it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, it's not fine. so um, it's not. and she's a very famous actress. So and she wasn't in it already. So basically, she shot a few scenes, and all I had to do was reshoot that and then shoot the rest. When I arrived, I realized that she had a massive role. She was in 50 episodes. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm doing a soap now. And I'd never done soap. I mean, I'd been in this in a studio before in a set. I'd done like a guest role in Holby City or whatever. But it was it was big for me. And I had the best time of my life. I yeah. realized that every actor should go through soap experience. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's a big quick learning school of like you just all right basically my first scene i'll share was with a lot of people a lot of extras with a musician playing and all this and uh so i was a little nervous I was like oh this is cool but a lot of movement as well and like noise so i couldn't hear my my cues i didn't know who was who or who was gonna say what but at some point i go to an actress and i have this exchange with her and she just has a go at me why are you interrupting me? Blah, 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 blah. Like on and on and on. And I literally, I don't know if this was the scene they chose, but I'm like looking around, looking for a director to see if he's going to cut this mm -hmm. shot. She was improvising. Yeah. I had no idea. I thought she was actually having a go at me. Mm -hmm. I never knew when my cues, what my cues were because people would just improvise the whole time. Oh, so really? most of the time it's just me like, oh, <laughs> like trying to come in. Anyway, it was great. No, I but really like, I, I, want, I want to know more just about like, soap life because uh, traditionally here, I know like if it's uh, like some big series or like it's, if it's a film, it, you do like maybe a couple of pages a day, you know, film. But, oh, like, but not in, in soap. soaps. In soaps you do a lot. But that, that's, that, that's the thing because I think in soap it's just like, like yeah. this all the time. Like, can, I, can, I just, can you tell me more about the like, soap life? Like when do you get a script? Day before, on a day. Okay, so this is my Portuguese experience, mm -hmm. which is different, um, probably from what's here. But here you get it, like let's say you get a script every Friday, and you've got the weekend to look at it. Mm -hmm. So you've got the week ahead, and um, but they could be shooting. Like I met a lead who was shooting twenty scenes a day, right? So it does. It does make you feel like, okay, I understand why soaps sometimes are not very good yeah. or a performance is not very good because you don't have time. Yeah. You don't know what you like. 20 scenes a day. <laughs> how is it? Is it like how many crews do they have there? Because even like sometimes setting up the lights and, and cameras yeah. takes like half an hour. Even for this, it sometimes takes like half an hour. Like for you to film 20 scenes a day. Wow. Basically, I think that's why everything is done in a studio because in the same small space mm -hmm. you get lots of different usually it's some inside someone's house right yeah, <laughs> so yeah. you get lots of people's houses and they're just used to doing it like everything is so quick mm -hmm. you get like one take realistically yeah. and then they might do a close-up or something and that's your take two mm. they don't care i mean i mean i shouldn't say this <laughs> um i had a great experience i really did but it's like their job is not to make you look good it is not for you to be the best performer in the world their job is just to get it done yeah so you need to do your homework and you know those actors have been doing soaps for like 20 years so they're so used to it and i feel that for them, they know the characters so well that they're comfortable with not knowing the lines that well. Because mm -hmm. they didn't have time to learn them. Mm -hmm. It's not because they were lazy. It's just that there's literally no time. Um, 
So that was my experience and I loved it. I wasn't, I wasn't shooting for a long time, but you know, especially in lockdown to feel that, oh my gosh, I got a job and I got a TV job. I then obviously had a very arrogant thought, which was now that I've done this TV job, I'm gonna get lots of TV jobs in Portugal. Hasn't happened. <laughs>